millennial Gen Z crowd, okay? <laughs> I want to tell a quick anecdote about this movie really quick. I was obsessed with Lizzie McGuire growing up, specifically the Lizzie McGuire movie, okay? And my mother knew that I loved Lizzie McGuire. And when the Lizzie McGuire movie was playing, there was this giant Lizzie McGuire movie poster on the side of like the local movie theater, okay? And my mom went to the movie theater and asked, like, when the movie stops running, are you guys gonna keep that post or are you gonna throw it out? They're like, we're just gonna throw it out. So my mother kept in touch with this movie theater. The day that, like, the Lizzie McGuire movie stopped playing, she took the poster, brought it to my bedroom at home, and put it up my wall. And when I came home from school, my wall was Lizzie McGuire. That's for Rosemary, okay? Rosemary's baby, she's amazing. So I'm obsessed with Lizzie McGuire, obviously. And when Jordan told me he was doing this, I was like, um, can I please see what dreams are made of from Lizzie McGuire? And then I was like, oh my gosh, there is one person in the world that I cannot imagine doing this without, there's like double negatives, whatever. There's a person who like, I have to sing this song with, and you've already seen her, you've already seen her sing tonight, she's singing the Elephant Love Medley, it's Molly McCook. So I'm gonna bring Molly McCook up on stage with me. And she and I have like scream sung this song together with your voice note. Yeah, come on up. And like, like Molly, how, how many times, how many times have we song, sang this song together like via voice note or just like in real life? Years. Just like we're years. look at her shirt. We have the same kind of. Is this, I already owned this. This is so awesome. I ordered this specifically for tonight. Um, so if you guys have not seen the movie public shame, but if you haven't seen the movie, so Lizzie McGuire, me, um, is performing at the Italian Music Awards, which is like the VMAs for Italy in like 2003 in the movie or whatever. She's been impersonating another female pop star that has her same doppelganger face, Isabella. And so we're not gonna have to. So Isabella, Lizzie, this is what dreams are made of.